Hundreds of Iowa teachers drove through downtown Des Moines today, honking their horns and protesting Governor Reynolds' return to learn plan for the fall. KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel is at the State House with their message. Steve, the teachers are calling this Drive for Lives, and that's exactly what they did. They drove in a long line of cars around the State House today, and they have a very simple message. It is too dangerous to go back to school. We wanted to make sure we did this safely. Des Moines teacher Tammy Bortscheller says safety is her number one priority. That's why this teacher's protest took the form of an in-car parade. More than 500 cars filled with even more teachers and their supporters drove from East High School to the Iowa State House. They're speaking out against Governor Reynolds' back-to-school proclamation. It mandates 50% face-to-face learning in Iowa schools during the pandemic. Protesters want local school leaders to determine the safest return-to-learn models for their communities. Teachers are very passionate people. We care for our students, we care for our colleagues, we care for our students' families, and um, that shows just by the turnout that we've had here. Now, some teachers we talked to today say this is a real life or death situation. The governor has not been listening to that. Say if she doesn't listen and doesn't change her mind, there are bound to be even more and bigger protests in the weeks to come. We're live at the State House. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.